These are five signs that you're a chosen one. Mind you, okay, there are more signs. There are plenty of signs to prove that you're a chosen one. I'm just giving you five good ones, okay? And to be honest, I could honestly give you five deep cho uh, facts that prove that you're a chosen one or five signs that prove that you're a chosen one. But if I really go deep into it, like if I give you the real deep, a lot of people will be disqualified. A lot of people will be will be disqualified and a lot of people will be in their feelings because they're going to find out that they really aren't chosen ones. OK, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. A few of y'all in here know that what I'm talking about when I say that. OK, because you guys are real chosen. Ones. I don't know if all of you guys do, but a lot of you guys understand that. OK, but I'm just going to give you five good facts and five good signs that you're a chosen one. The first sign that shows that you're a chosen one is you did not want to admit that you was a chosen one. You did not want to admit that you was a chosen one. I know it's ironic. I know it's it's actually backwards, right? But it is true. All you chosen ones, I know you guys could relate to this. When you first find out that you're a chosen one, you did not want to be no damn chosen one. You didn't. Okay, because all your life you probably find you, you was trying to probably try to fit in a little bit. But you realize that you was not meant to, to fit in. You was meant to stand out. You was not meant to fit in. Okay. And and as I know it's backwards. I know this one actually, I know a lot of people could feel this when I when I say this. It's actually true. Okay. You did that's the first sign. You did not want to admit you was a chosen one. When you first started to realize, when you started to do your research, you was like, bro, I'm not no J. How am I a chosen one? But once you kept on going deeper into it, once you kept on finding out more information and more, you know, more knowledge about the information about the topic, you realize it is true that you was a chosen one. OK, and you was not like everybody else. You was different. You stood out. And yeah, you just you you was just not the same as everybody else. You, and, and you knew, you know, deep down inside you, you was a different person. But at first you did not want to admit it. OK, and that's just sign number one. Sign number one is you did not want to admit you was a chosen one. When you could really sit back and really admit that and really figure that out, that actually shows you that, you know, you it, it shows you that you really, you know, you, you're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all know what I'm saying, bro. Like, it really shows you that you are a chosen one. Okay, as backwards as you're saying. Okay, but all you chosen one know what I'm talking about. This happened to you. You did not want to admit you was, you was trying to be normal. You was honestly trying to be normal, but it wasn't. You knew damn well you was not going to be able to fit in. So that's sign number one. Sign number two is you don't fit in. You're a black sheep. You do not fit in. Okay. This this is what I was talking about. Okay. You're not meant to fit in. You're meant to stand out. And as this is a sign, when you realize, like, dude, I do not fit in with my family, with friends. You just don't. This is why you went through this woke stage, okay? When you were trying to wake people up and they actually was looking at you crazy when you were saying certain shit, okay? You was talking to certain people when you were trying to tell them certain information that you learned and they looked at you like you was crazy because you don't fit in. They're not even meant to even get that information. This information that you was getting was for you, okay? It's not meant for them. They, can't, they will never be able to wake up. So this is just another sign is that you don't fit in. You don't even think the same as them you don't act the same you don't move the same you just you're different you're different you do not fit in at all and this is a sign that you're a chosen you, the, the way you think you think completely outside the box okay when people when the whole group of people are going some way you will probably be the one to go the other way okay you really don't like to even follow people you're not really a follower it's not really in you to just naturally follow yes if it's right to follow then you could follow, but it's naturally just not who you are. Okay, you're not a follower, and that shit could piss people off. That you will go your own way. Okay, that shit pisses a lot of people off. But this is just a sign that you're you're a chosen one. Is that you are a you are black sheep. You don't fit in. The third sign that you're a chosen one is that you can read people's aura. This is a sign that you could that you're a chosen one. Is when you can read people's aura. A lot of you guys were able to do this way before you even knew you was a chosen one. The thing is, you thought everybody could do this. And I'm here to tell you, no, everybody cannot do this. 
Some people actually think they can do it and then they try to do it and then they actually are wrong. But you are all, when you every time you have read somebody's energy, whether it's good or bad. For example, if you if you read somebody's energy, you could tell that they're toxic way before you even they even showed you signs of it. Have you ever all the time that has ever happened that you have been right, right? How many times have you been right? That's because you can read auras. That's a that's a sign that you are a chosen one. You can post around people and just read the auras naturally. That's actually something that you're doing unconsciously. I don't care if you're even talking to them. Once you see somebody or you're reading their aura. And, and that's just a sign. You could be there could be a whole group of people in one room. You will be just naturally read all of their orders all at one time. So you can read it all at one time. And it's not just one by one. It's just at the exact same time you can read everybody's order. You can tell how they are, their personality, how they be acting when certain things happen, how they would act. You can even predict who they will be, their personality type in different situations. You'd be predicting it just in that one moment. So you're able to read auras really, really well. This is a sign that you are a chosen one. Okay, you're able to read people's aura. Okay, and you, you just, they just, it's very easy for you to read people's aura and just pretty much read a book by its cover. Sign four is that you could, uh, you get a lot of stares. You get a lot of stares. People be staring at you. People love to stare at you. People love to stare. You get a lot of stares no matter where you go. Okay, people think that it's just because you're good looking that people stare at you. No, it's not because you're only good looking. You can be a good looking person and you get a lot of stares for that, but it's deeper than that. Okay, it's because some people will stare at you and they might not even really be attracted to you sexually. Okay, and, and that's facts, but it is deeper than that. It's an energetic thing. Okay, you get a lot of stares for no reason. And you might think, you, at first, you were thinking it was weird. Okay, a lot of you guys thought it was weird probably because, let's be real, a lot of, of y'all, let's be real, was broke, dirty, and starving. Like, that was me one time. I was broke, dirty, and starving. And I was getting a lot of people just drawn to my energy. Like, what the fuck, what, what the fuck do I have that you would even want to come around? It's not about that. It's not about really the material things. Nothing wrong with material things, but it's not about that. It's about your soul and who you are. The person you are is deeper than that, okay? That people are drawn to you at a deeper level than just material things. It's your soul, your aura, okay? This is why they're staring at you a lot, because you are a powerful soul. And this is a sign of a chosen one. People are drawn to that energy that you have and that aura you have and that aura you carry yourself with. It is naturally in you. You come from a high realm. So when you come from a high realm, you have a deep, powerful soul. And people are constantly in love with that shit. Okay? People are constantly in love with that. It's mysterious to them. So they constantly come around you. Okay? So that's a sign that you are a chosen one. When you have a lot of people staring around you, at you. And a lot of people are constantly trying to come around you. Okay? A lot of people are constantly coming around you. This is a sign. Sign number five, okay, this is a, a, a sign, another sign, is that you are very spiritually in tune. You have a high spiritual connection. This is why you probably see some, like, ghosts. This is why you see some ghosts or some shit, okay? This is why. It's because you are very, it's not even a real ghost. It's not like a demon or anything. It's just some shit from, like, a spiritual realm. It's not, every time you have seen that shit, it's probably been, it, it hasn't even been that scary. Okay, like for me, I had example. I, I seen a golden lion when I was younger, and I, I swear to you, I seen that shit, and it was it was weird, and it was glowing. And then when I went to look at it, I went to try to go up to it, the shit left, it disappeared. Okay, a lot of that you guys are spiritually inclined, that like you're very spiritually in tune. This is why you believe a lot of spiritual things. You know, this is why you're able to decipher the truth from the lie. When you hear of the truth. A powerful truth you're able to realize that it is the truth okay you're connected with your higher self you have an intuition that's always right guiding you and you also um you also are able to just understand things at a deep spiritual level let's be real you are you can understand things at a deep spiritual level and you can predict things okay have you ever been able to predict things that will happen and it actually happen maybe you got a dream 
Okay, you got a dream of prophecy and, and it actually happened in real life. Maybe you said some shit and it actually happened. You are actually deeply spiritually are connected to the world. And this is just another sign that you're a chosen one. Now, this is the end of the video. Okay, this I might make a part two to this, but there are plenty of more facts that you're a chosen one. So if you can't relate to any of this, it doesn't mean that you're not a chosen one. These are just five facts. If you can't connect to at least one of this shit, or at least two, you can't, you have to at least, you, ha you have to at least be able to connect with at least two. Cause these are just the basics. These aren't even really advanced shit. I told you I can tell you more advanced things that will really just disqualify a lot of people. And they do we actually get mad at me for saying this shit. They'll really get mad. Okay. But yeah, guys, this is just five signs that you're chosen one. If you if you could connect with it, you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, say that you connect with it. Say anything else you need to ask. You know, if you guys want any topics, I could write it down on my list of topics that I'm doing. But yeah, guys, these are just five signs. Don't get mad if you ain't you can't relate to this shit. If you can't relate to it, if you're not a chosen one, it's okay. You could be a good person. There's nothing wrong with being a good person. Okay? But yeah, it's not even a fun shit to be a... At first, guys, it really ain't even that fun to be a chosen one. Okay, but all the shit you have to go through, all the shit you have to battle, just the mental shit that you have to deal with, and the haters. It's a lot of you guys who aren't, aren't chosen, I'm, I'm telling you, you should be happy that your ass ain't even chosen. You should actually be happy that you're not a chosen. It's not been that fun to be chosen. Yes, at the end of the day, it will be. Okay, but you have we have to go through a lot of like a lot of battle self battles. Okay, to overcome. Now I'm not saying we go through the worst shit in the world. Hell no, we do not go through the worst shit in the world. But uh, it, it, from a regular person standpoint, we go through worse shit than regular people. All right. So yeah, guys, this is this is all I gotta say. Okay, make sure you, you leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any other topics you guys want me to touch on, just leave it in the comments.